so how session will work first of all when you are open inbots in gmail then you have to compulsory login because uh, between login and logout page you cannot access all the page which is between login and logout you cannot access without login so today we completing that that practical first of all we have to create one login page so form name form one we have to use action method now required to text box now in php my admin we are creating one database database name is login now in this we are creating one table we are taking table name is table 1 we are creating one table table one we are inserting one record now we are taking here text so we change it password now we are creating one designing now first of all we have to check from database we are entering right username or not so comparison with database now we have to write over here mysql connect we have to pass three argument our database name is login and now we have to compare with table this username and pw is our column name we are taking here username and pw now passed here text box 1 and passed here text box 2 now if username password is correct then we pass to second page means in bots page dollar row is equal to dollar res then we passed inside on page but remember when you are uh, when you use a session then you cannot write header location you have to pass through javascript So now we are creating one page in bots.
now also we are creating one page page name is logout now currently you can see here if I write over in bots currently I am not logging if I write inbots.ph then inbots will open automatically but actually this cannot be open because I am not logging first of all we chat our comparison is right or not yes there is no problem with our code now we start session in which page you want to use session you have to write session underscore start in first line compulsory you have to write in first line now I store our username value in session session is a one type of global variable if you using the dollar i then you you cannot use this dollar i value in second page but when you are storing your value in session then you can use this value in all website so i create one session variable unm is equal to and store username in this variable dollar session you know so when my username and password is correct then I get value in session in UNM so I check condition over here in bots page first I write session start if if user not login then session value is blank if user not successfully login then session value is blank if session value is blank then forward this user to login page and in logout page we have to clear our session value session destroy and after then use javascript window dot location now currently I am not logging and I am trying to open inbox.php what happened you can see you cannot open inbox page without login now I login oh now inbox page open now I run logout page now my session is destroyed now also I cannot open inbox.php so between login and logout all page which you want to um, which you want to does not open without login on that page you have to write this condition before this HTML tag so it compare that uh, there is a value in session or not if there is no value in session then it forward in login page okay Thank you.